Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the Unit 3 of BPharm 6th semester, Pharmacology 3. In this uh, unit, we are going to see about chemotherapy of uh, specific diseases. We are going to discuss about nine important things: anti-tubercular drugs, anti-leprosy drugs, anti-fungal drugs, anti-viral drugs, anti-helminthics, anti-malarial drugs, anti-amoebic drugs, drugs used in urinary tract infections, and drugs used in sexually transmitted diseases. In this section, we are going to deal with uh, 52 questions with answer explanations. Question number one is a classification of anti-tubercular drugs. There are, uh, you can remember this uh, six classifications. The first line essential drugs are isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, and uh, ethambutol. Uh, the first line uh, supplementary drugs are streptomycin, rifabutin, and uh, rifapentin. Second line drugs, when the first line drugs uh, fail, uh, they could be added with the second line drugs, thioastrazone, paraminosalicylic acid, ethionamide, cyclosirine, canamycin, capriomycin, amicacin, ofloxacin, moxifloxacin, linezolid and clarithromycin. The drugs effective against uh, rapidly growing bacteria, they act on the cavitary lesions or H, that is isoniazid. The drugs effective against sparters, that is intermediately they are dormant in nature. These drugs act uh, within the caseous material in the lungs and it is uh, rifampicin represented by R and drugs effective against uh, slow growing bacteria. They act on the intracellular bacteria that is Z that is pyrazinamide. They use uh, some letter code H for isoniazid, R for rifampicin, Z for pyrazinamide, ethambutol is represented by E and streptomycin is represented by yes. The next question two is uh, isoniazid, a short note on isoniazid. It's an anti-tubercular drug. It is a niacin derivative isonicotinic acid hydroxide. It reduces uh, the enzyme catalase peroxidase and that inhibits the synthesis of mycolic, amp, uh, mycolic acid, a important component of cell wall. And the resistance is also caused by mutations in the catalase peroxidase gene. Uh, isoniazid can be given orally. It is well absorbed, passes into the CSF and tubercular lesions. It is metabolized by acetylation in the liver. It is used for treatment of active and latent uh, tuberculosis. Since it is uh, metabolized by acetylation, uh, the pharmacogenetics related to it is fast acetylators have reduced therapeutic efficacy and uh, slow acetylators are prone for adverse effects. The adverse effects include hepatitis. It is caused by the toxic metabolite uh, acetylhydrazine, peripheral neuropathy. It is caused by vitamin uh, B6 deficiency. When higher doses are used, pyridoxine prophylaxis is required. Isoniazid has uh, numerous uh, drug interactions with alcohol or rifampicin. It increases the risk of hepatotoxicity. Isoniazid, uh, when it is co-administered with aluminum salts, it decreases the absorption of isoniazid. Isoniazid when uh, uh, co-administered with uh, carbamazepine or uh, phenytoin, it increases the serum levels of carbamazepine and phenytoin. Question 3 is uh, a short note on the anti-tubercular drug rifampicin. It is a rifamycin antibiotic. Uh, it inhibits the bacterial DNA dependent RNA polymerase. That is you remember DDRP. It could be given orally. It is widely distributed and excreted in urine and bile. It's used for treatment of tuberculosis and leprosy, uh, prophylaxis of meningococcal meningitis, hemophilus influenzae type B infection, and treatment of staphylococcus infections. The adverse effects include reddish discoloration of tears, urine, saliva, and sweat, abdominal pain, hepatitis, vomiting, and diarrhea. Since rifampicin is a CYP enzyme inducer, it has numerous drug interactions uh, with warfarin, Theophylline, itraconazole, opioids, phenytoin, and verapamil. They decrease, rifampicin decreases the efficacy of the co administered drugs. Question number four is uh, a short note on anti tubercular drug, ethambutol. It's a synthetic butanol derivative. It inhibits uh, arabinoxyl transferase, and, uh, which is essential for uh, mycobacterial uh, cell wall formation. The therapeutic uses it is used for treatment of tuberculosis in combination with isoniazid, rifampicin, and pyrazinamide. It's also used for treatment of uh, mycobacterium avium intracellular infections. 
which occurs in AIDS patients and that is uh, used in combination with the clarithromycin or azithromycin and rifampicin. Adverse effects include uh, dose related uh, retrobulbar optic neuritis and impaired uh, reddish green color discrimination. So color vision should be monitored before and during prolonged treatment. Apart from this it may cause gouty arthritis. The next important drug is uh, a short note on uh, pyrazinamide question 5. It is chemically related to isoniazid. It's a prodrug converted inside the mycobacterial cell to active metabolite pyrazinoic acid by an enzyme pyrazinamidase. The active metabolite in inhibits the mycolic acid synthesis which is present in the cell wall of the uh, tuberculous bacilli. It can be given orally. It is used for treatment of uh, tuberculosis in combination with uh, isoniazid. It is more effective against intracellular bacteria. The adverse effects include uh, dose related hepatotoxicity, hyperuricemia, abdominal distress and arthralgia. Question number 6, uh, they may ask uh, the treatment regimens in anti-tubercular uh, drug treatment. There are about uh, 6 treatment regimens which you can remember easily. Uh, usually the treatment regimens has uh, two phases. One is intensive phase which has more number of drugs followed by continuous phase which is less number of drugs than the intensive phase. The drug sensitive tuberculosis, uh, two months uh, the intensive phase uh, will be with four drugs, isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide and uh, ethambutal followed by four months with uh, the continuous phase, isoniazid, rifampicin and ethambutal. If isoniazid becomes resistant, then six months uh, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, ethambutal and levofloxacin will be given. In multiple uh, drug resistant tuberculosis, that means uh, the, uh, the, uh, the mycobacterium is resistant to both uh, isoniazid and rifampicin. One is a bedaquilin uh, regimen, short term regimen, 6 months bedaquilin with a high dose of isoniazid, pyrazinamide, ethambutal, levofloxacin, clofazimine and ethionamide and 5 months with uh, pyrazinamide, ethambutal, levofloxacin and clofazimine. Uh, if there is another set of patients, uh, those who are not candidates for short term regimen, a long term regimen is followed, 6 months, uh, beta, 6 to 9 months bedaquilin, uh, followed by linezolid, uh, levofloxacin, clofazimin, uh, then uh, with 12 months with uh, linezolid, uh, levofloxacin and clofazimin. For prevention of tuberculosis, 6 months uh, isoniazid or 4 months uh, rifampicin or uh, 6 months levofloxacin is administered. For uh, mycobacterium AVM uh, complex infection which occurs in the AIDS patients, the regimen is REC regimen that is uh, rifampicin will not be there because it's an enzyme inducer. So you remember ifabutin, ethambutal, clarithromycin or azithromycin. The next is uh, a uh, classification of anti-leprosy drugs. You just remember four classifications. Anti-leprosy drugs, uh, anti-folate drugs are dapsone and ACE dapsone. Drugs interfering with the DNA function is uh, clofazimin. DDRP inhibitor is rifampicin. That is DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Then others are ethionamide, ofloxin, pfloxin, minocycline and clarithromycin. Question number 8 is uh, a short note on Dapsone. It's an anti-leprosy drug. It's a folate antagonist. It's leprostatic. It suppresses uh, the bacterial growth by triggering a mechanism that blocks uh, folic acid synthesis, which is essential for purine and pyrimidine synthesis in the DNA. It could be given orally. It is the drug of choice for uh, treating leprosy. It may be used to treat uh, dermatitis uh, herpetiformis. Uh, it's a valuable product in uh, prophylaxis and treatment of malaria. Dapsone with or without trimethoprim is used for pro, uh, prophylaxis of uh, uh, Pseudomonas carni pneumonia in uh, patients with uh, AIDS. The adverse effects include uh, GI irritation, skin rash, methemoglobinemia, and hemolysis in G6PD deficient patients. That is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patients. Yes, Dapsone is a repository form of uh, Dapsone uh, which is administered as a single intramuscular injection which maintains the inhibitory levels of Dapsone for nearly 3 months. Question number 9 is uh, a short note on Clofazimin. It's an anti-leprosy drug. It interferes with the template function of the DNA. It could be given orally. It is used to treat leprosy and a variety of atypical mycobacterium infections. 
ड्यू टू इट्स आंटी इंफ्लमेटरी रियाक्शन इट कुड बी यूज्ड फॉर लेप्रा रियाक्शन इट दे मे आस्क इन शॉर्ट नोट व्हाट इज लेप्रा रियाक्शन लेप्रा रियाक्शन अकर्स विद ट्रीटमेंट विद डैपसोन because more number of bacilli are killed it uh, creates some immune reaction called lepra reaction since clofazimin is a uh, anti inflammatory property is also present it could be given for treating lepra reaction adverse effects since it is a dye it can cause uh, pink to brownish discoloration which occurs in 75% to 100% of patients within few weeks urine sweat and other body fluids may be discolored other adverse effects include uh, ichthyosis rash and pruritis question number 10 is uh, treatment regimens in leprosy uh, there are three treatment regimens one is uh, multi bacillary or uh, passive bacillary uh, it is uh, treated with uh, rifampicin clofazimin uh, monthly and clofazimin uh, that is per month then clofazimin and uh, dapsone daily for 12 months if uh, rifampicin resistance occurs For six months, clofazimin, ofloxacin, and minocycline are administered, followed by clofazimin and ofloxacin for 18 months. In case of rifampicin and ofloxacin resistance, clofazimin, minocycline, and clarithromycin are administered for six months, followed by clofazimin and minocycline for 18 months. Question number eleven is the classification of anti-HIV or anti-AIDS drugs. It's a very important uh, classification. There are about six classifications. Uh, one is a new nucleoside reverse transcriptase uh, inhibitors uh, with or which are without phosphorus zidovudine stavudine lamivudine abacavir and emtricitabine nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors is only one drug which is tenofovir non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors nnrta efavirin cetavirin nevirapine delavirin and uh, rilpivirin then protease inhibitors saquinavir ritonavir indinavir nelfinavir darunavir and tipranavir ye yeah, virus entry inhibitors are enfovirtide uh, maraviroc and the new drug is ivalisumab viral integrase uh, inhibitors raltegravir elvitegravir uh, bisegtegravir and cabotegravir they will complete with tegravir question number 12 is a short note on uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase uh, inhibitors it's a very important question the nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors include zidovudine didenoside zalcitabine lamivudine emtricitabine and abacavir they are represented by code words azidothymidine that is zidovudine ddi didenoside ddc zalcitabine 3tc is uh, lamivudine uh, Stavudine is represented by D40 and emtricitabine is represented by FTC. The nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors inhibit the HIV trans reverse transcriptase, thereby inhibits the DNA synthesis. NRTAs can also compete with the nucleoside triphosphate, that is uh, deoxy, DTTP, DATP, DCTP, and DGTP, which has to be added to the newly synthesized viral DNA strand. incorporation of uh, nrta into the viral dna strand causes chain termination nrtas are used in treatment of hiv infection lamivudin can also be used in treatment of uh, chronic hepatitis b the use of azidothymidine during pregnancy and in neonates with uh, hiv positive mothers are which, which is very effective drug in prevention of uh, parent to child transmission nucleotide uh, analog reverse transcriptase include tenofovir and adifovir these drugs also work by inhibiting viral reverse transcriptase they used to treat uh, hiv infection and hepatitis b infection the adverse effects neutropenia and megaloblastic anemia with zidovudine pancreatitis is caused by didenoside peripheral neuropathy is caused by that is uh, ddc zalcitabine and uh, d40 which is stavudin hypersensitivity reactions are more common with abacavir question number 13 they may ask a short note on uh, zidovudin uh, it is a nucleos- nucleotide uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase uh, inhibitor uh, it's activated to zidovudin triphosphate incorporated into the viral dna and causes uh, chain termination uh, it is used to treat hiv infection and ppt ct that is prevention of uh, parent to child uh, transmission transmission 
of the HIV virus in combination with the lopinavir or retonavir and emtricitabine. The adverse effects include anemia. Drug interactions, it should not be combined with gancyclovir or anti-cancer drugs because it increases the hematological toxicity. Question number 14 is a short note on tenofovir. It is a nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor. It is administered as a prodrug activated to tenofovir diphosphate and incorporated into viral DNA by reverse transcriptase causing DNA chain termination. It is a preferred initial treatment for HIV infection in combination with other agents. Prevention of a maternal uh, fetal HIV transmission that is a PPTCT and treatment of chronic hepatitis B. The adverse effects include rash, diarrhea and less commonly lactic acidosis. It may cause immune reconstitution syndrome. Tenofovir when it is uh, co-administered with HIV protease inhibitors, it increases the toxicity of tenofovir. Tenofovir when it, uh, when it is co-administered with the probenicid, it increases the toxicity of tenofovir. Question number 15 is a short note on uh, NNRT that is non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. It includes efavirenz, ertavirin, nevirapin, delavirin and uh, rilpivirin. The NNRT is uh, bind specifically to HIV reverse transcriptase thereby blocking DNA uh, synthesis of the new strand. NNRTAs are used in treatment of HIV infection. The adverse effects nevirapine can cause uh, Stevenson Johnson syndrome and fulminant uh, hepatitis. Delaviridine is also toxic to liver. Efavirenz can cause uh, CNS disturbances such as insomnia, delusions, and nightmares. Drug interactions nevirapine is a CYP450 enzyme inducer. It has numerous drug interactions with oral contraceptives, warfarin, metronidazole and some protease inhibitors. It can decrease the efficacy of the co-administered drugs. Question number 16, it's a short note on protease inhibitors. It's a very important question. The protease inhibitors include saquinavir, ritonavir, indinavir, nilfinavir, amprinavir, lopinavir, and tipranavir. All the drugs, they complete with uh, navir. It's a code to remember. Uh, the protease inhibitors act to inhibit uh, the HIV protease enzyme which is responsible for cleaving of the precursor proteins into mature proteins. Uh, prote if the protease enzyme is inhibited, the virus is unable to replicate. They are used in treatment of HIV infection. All the protease inhibitors have been associated with altered distribution of body fat. Often it causes formation of buffalo hump or increased trunk call obesity. It can cause insulin resistance and hyperlipidemia. Other adverse effects include uh, GA discomfort and paresthesias. The drug interactions, Rutonavir is a CYP450 enzyme inhibitor. When it is clubbed with uh, or co-administered with protease inhibitors, ketoconazole, rifampicin and numerous drugs, CNS drugs, it increases the toxicity of co-administered drugs. Actually, very important note is Rutonavir boosting, booster is added to other protease inhibitors to reduce their doses. So this regimen is followed in HIV treatment regimens. Next is uh, question number 17 is a short note on uh, viral HIV viral integrase inhibitors. The list includes uh, raltegravir, uh, dolutegravir, uh, all the drugs they complete with uh, tegravir. Uh, tegra means integra, you can remember the code. The mechanism of action, they prevent insertion of HIV DNA into the host genome. They are active against wild type and multiple, multiple uh, drug resistant strains. They are preferred initial treatment for HIV infection in combination with tenofovir, emtricitabine or lamivudin. The adverse effects include headache, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. Question number 18 is a short note on uh, HIV viral fusion inhibitors. They are Maraviroc and uh, Enfuvirtide. Uh, the Maraviroc is a CCR5 antagonist. It prevents interaction of HIV-1 uh, glycoprotein 120 that is necessary for CCR5 uh, tropic HIV-1 virus to enter into the host cells. Uh, it is used for treatment of uh, CCR5 tropic uh, HIV-1 infections caused by strains resistant to reverse transcriptase or protease inhibitors. 
The adverse effects include cough, fever, upper respiratory tract infections, hepatotoxicity, and that is followed by sometimes with allergic reactions. Maraviroc, when it is uh, co-administered with the Enfovirtide, it is it is having synergistic activity. Question number 19: The treatment regimens uh, in anti-HIV therapy uh, for adults and adolescents uh, it is. Uh, TLE that is uh, telbibudin, lamibudin and uh, emtricitabin. For children uh, 3 to 10 years it is ALE, abacavir, lamibudin and uh, emtricitabin. Children less than 3 years is uh, abacavir, lamibudin and uh, lopinavir. For infant profile axis, zidovudin with uh, nevirapine is followed. Then post exposure profile axis within 72 hours it's a 4 week therapy with uh, the tenofovir then lopinavir and uh, protease inhibitors then for children uh, less than uh, 10 years the post exposure prophylaxis is zidovudin lopinavir and lamivudin question number 20 it's their anti herpes drugs they may ask a short note on acyclovir also the list of anti herpes drugs include acyclovir gancyclovir famicyclovir penicyclovir valcyclovir poscarnet fomivirsin and sidofovir Acyclovir is a nucleoside uh, DNA polymerase inhibitor. It is converted to acyclovir triphosphate by the viral and host cell kinases and that causes uh, DNA chain termination. It's used for infections, uh, herpes zoster infections, shingles and uh, chickenpox that is varicella virus. It's given by different routes, oral, topical, intravenous routes are available. It decreases viral shedding, pain and healing time. It is also used for treatment of vancomycin resistant uh, enterococcus PCM, methicillin susceptible and methicillin resistant staph cocci, staphylococcus and herpes simplex infections of uh, genitalis, labialis and uh, encephalitis. The adverse effects include dizziness, diarrhea, nausea. Acyclovir when it is co-administered with probenicid, it increases the serum levels of acyclovir. Acyclovir when it is co-administered with uh, the nephrotoxic drugs, it increases the nephrotoxicity. And next is uh, Gancyclovir, a short note on Gancyclovir, question number 21. It's a nucleoside analog. It's converted to Gancyclovir uh, triphosphate and inhibits DNA polymerase. It's used for prevention and treatment of cytomegalovirus infections in the immunocompromised and transplant patients. The adverse effects include a decreased visual acuity. That is, it affects the ocular vision, thrombocytopenia, neutropenia. When it is uh, co-administered with zidovudin or anti-neoplastic drugs, it increases the bone marrow depression. Question number 22. It's uh, the list of drugs for anti-influenza. And they may ask a short note on amantitin. The list includes uh, two categories. Viral uncoating inhibitors, amantitin and remantitin. Neuraminidase inhibitors, Oseltamivir and uh, Zanamavir. Amantadin is a viral uncoating inhibitor. It binds to a protein M2 surface protein uh, with channel which is present on the influenza A viral particles and it blocks the uncoating of the virus. It is used to reduce the duration of influenza A symptoms as well as uh, prophylaxis. It is also used in treatment of Parkinson's uh, disease because it stimulates the release of dopamine from the nigria striatum. The adverse effects include uh, CNS symptoms and GI upset. Then uh, they may ask a short note on Oseltamivir, which number 23. Oseltamivir is an uh, anti-influenza drug. It inhibits influenza A and influenza B neuraminidase and prevents release and spreading of viral particles. It is used for prevention and treatment of uh, H1N1, swine flu, H3N2, avian influenza and uh, influenza B which is uh, bird flu. It must be given within 72 hours of symptom onset. Zanamivir uh, can be given intranasally. The adverse effects uh, include uh, minor respiratory and gastrointestinal adverse effects. The next question, question number 24 is anti-hepatitis drugs. The drugs for hepatitis B virus include uh, adipovir, enticavir, telbibudin, lamivudin and uh, interferons. The anti-hepatitis C drugs include uh, protease inhibitors, teliprevir, bosiprevir and grasoprevir, NS5A inhibitors. 
the ns5a inhibitors there is a code word all the drugs name they contain as and that is you reverse sa that is as ns5a elbasvir ledipasvir ombitasvir daclatasvir then ns5b inhibitors they contain b in their drug name sofosbuvir and dasabuvir antiviral drugs a short note on ribavirin it's a guanosin analog it is converted to ribavirin uh, monophosphate depletes uh, guanosin triphosphate and inhibits the protein synthesis uh, therapeutically it is used for treatment of respiratory syncytial virus infections and chronic hepatitis c infections in combination with peg interferon alpha bosiprevir or telaprevir adverse effects include uh, anemia hypotension and cardiac arrest ribavirin and zidovudine should not be co-administered because it increases the hematological toxicity of zidovudine Question number 26 is a short note on so post pubir it may be asked in two marks also it's a hepatitis c virus treating drug it is a rna dependent rna polymerase inhibitor it is used to treat a chronic hepatitis c virus genotypes 1 2 3 and 4 it can be combined with ribavirin or uh, pegylated interferons the adverse effects include fatigue headache insomnia and gastrointestinal distress Question number 27 is uh, anti-COVID-19 drugs. This I have given additionally because uh, for the past uh, two, two and a half years, we are suffering from the pandemic of uh, COVID. I have given this. It may be asked in two marks also. Uh, there are about eight classification of drugs. Uh, viral entry inhibitors, which prevents the glycosylation of uh, ACE2, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, amifenovir, viral entry inhibitors, which inhibits uh, TMPRSS2 that is Camostat and NAFO, Mostat, viral entry inhibitors which are monoclonal antibodies, uh, BAM Lanivimab, uh, Etisivimab, Casirivimab and uh, Imdevimab. Uh, you may remember the, all the drugs name contains VI in their uh, drug name. Then RNA dependent RNA polymerase inhibitors, Remdesvir and Favipravir, Importin inhibitors, Ivermectin, steroids dexamethasone methylprednisolone il6 inhibitors tocilizumab and jack inhibitors baricitib uh, so since it may be asked in two marks i have given this uh, yeah, a short note question number 28 classification of antifungal drugs uh, there are about six classifications the drugs that form pores in the fungal cell membranes are polyenes amphotericin b and nistatin Drugs uh, which inhibit ergosterol synthesis are azoles, fluconazole, ketoconazole, itraconazole, and oriconazole. Drugs which inhibit 1,3-beta glucan synthase in the fungal cell wall, they are echinocandines, caspofungin, anodula fungin, mica fungin. New drug is uh, ibrexa fungar. Drugs inhibiting mitotic spindle are uh, graciofulvin. Drugs which uh, cause accumulation of toxic squalene are terbinafin, naphtifine, amarolfine and uh, utinafin and drugs inhibiting DNA are flu cytosin. Question number 29 is a short note on amphotericin B. It's a very important question. Uh, it's a polyene antibiotic. It binds to ergosterol and increases the cell permeability allowing leakage of cell contents. It's used for treatment of candidiasis, cryptococcal meningitis, aspergillosis, blastomycosis. Uh, histoplasmosis and mucormycosis. For mucormycosis, uh, uh, it is a black fungus uh, infection uh, which is uh, post COVID treatment also mucormycosis occurs. One is amphotericin B. The next drug which is used is posoconosol. You just remember this. The adverse effects of amphotericin B include chills, fever, nephrotoxicity and hypokalemia. The drug interactions of amphotericin B Amphotericin B, when it is uh, combined with uh, cyclosporin or antineoplastics, it increases the renal toxicity. Amphotericin B, when it is uh, combined with uh, thiazides and corticosteroids, it may in increase the risk of hyperkalemia. Then, uh, a short note on fluconazole. It is also a very important question. It's a synthetic uh, triazole drug. It inhibits uh, protein alpha demethylase. Uh, this is essential for conversion of lanosterol to ergosterol and it prevents uh, ergosterol incorporation into the fungal cell membranes. 
it's used to treat uh, systemic fungal infections you remember 3c that is uh, cryptococcal meningitis candida and uh, coccidomycosis it is also used to treat uh, blastomycosis and histoplasmosis the adverse effects include uh, gastrointestinal distress hepatitis fever and chills fluconazole is a cyp 3a4 inhibitor it can cause numerous drug interactions with the cyclosporin warfarin phenytoin and histamine antagonists they increase the toxicity of co administered drugs question number 31 is a short note on etraconazole it is a synthetic triazole drug similar to fluconazole it inhibits protein alpha demethylase and prevents ergosterol incorporation into the fungal cell membranes it is used for treatment of blastomycosis coccidomycosis onchomycosis and sporotrichosis onchomycosis is a fungal infection of the nails it can cause uh, GI distress hepatitis since it is a cyp 3a4 inhibitor uh, it uh, increases the toxicity of uh, co administered drugs uh, it can cause numerous drug interactions with midazolam lovastatin warfarin uh, that is dihydropyridine channel blockers and graziofulbin question number 32 is uh, a short note on ketoconazole it is a synthetic imidazole drug but a similar mechanism uh, as uh, fluconazole or etraconazole it is a uh, 14 alpha demethylase inhibitor preventing ergosterol incorporation into fungal cell membranes used for treatment of blastomycosis coccidoids histoplasmosis and candida infections it is also used for mucormycosis ketoconazole inhibits mammalian cyp450 en uh, enzymes thereby disrupting the gonadal and adrenal steroid synthesis which can lead to libido gynecomastia and menstrual irregularities ketoconazole is also a cyp3a4 inhibitor uh, it increases the toxicity of co administered drugs this is short note on caspo capsofungin uh, question number 33 it's a echinocantin drug it inhibits the synthesis of fungal cell wall component 13 beta glucan it's used for treatment of infections uh, caused by candida albicans candida glabrata and candida tropicalis candida crucei and treatment of invasive aspergillosis it can cause headache fever phlebitis abnormal liver function test results uh, it uh, caspo fung capso fungin uh, when it is uh, co administered with rifampicin efavirenz phenytoin or carbamazepine it decreases the therapeutic concentration of capso fungin Ibrexa fungarp is a new drug similar to echinocandins which can be given orally. It is effective against fungal strains which are resistant to echinocandins. Question number 34 is a short note on Graziofilvin. It's a fungistatic antibiotic deposited in keratin precursor cells of skin, hair, nails and disrupts the microtubules and mitosis of dermatophytes. It is used for treatment of dermatophyte infections particularly tinea. Capitis. The adverse effects are headache. Uh, Graziofilvin is a CYP 3A4 inducer. It can uh, reduce the efficacy of co administered drugs such as oral contraceptives and warfarin. Next is antifungal drug terbinafine, question number 35. It's an allylamine drug. It inhibits squalene epoxidase and formation of squalene epoxide during fungal membrane ergosterol synthesis. It's used for treatment of tinea corporis. Tinea cruris, Tinea pedis, and Tinea versicolor. It's used for oral uh, treatment for onchomycosis, that is fungal nail infection, and Tinea captis. The adverse effects include anorexia, diarrhea, vomiting, and rarely hepatotoxicity. Terbinafin, when it is uh, co administered with simetidine, it increases the risk of uh, toxicity of terbinafin. With hepatotoxic drugs, uh, it increases the risk of hepatotoxicity. With rifampicin, the efficacy of terbinafine is reduced. Then uh, a short note on flu cytosine. It's an antifungal drug. It's an anti-metabolite. Uh, it gets converted to FTUMP and FUTP, which inhibits thymidylate synthase and inhibits fungal DNA and RNA synthesis. It's used in combination with amphotericin B in treatment of uh, systemic mycotic infections and fungal meningitis caused by cryptococcus and candida species. The adverse effects include a bone marrow depression and hepatotoxicity. Then classification of anti-malarials, question number 37. You remember just three classifications. One is primary tissue schizonticides, which kills the schizons in liver. 
that may be pre erythrocytic or exo erythrocytic and this is also called causal prophylaxis of drugs and you remember 3p proguanil primaquine and pyrimethamine next is erythrocytic schizonticides they kill the schizons in the blood treat acute attacks as well as uh, suppressive prophylaxis you remember the code word mac hack that is mefloquine atovaquan chloroquine halofantrine uh, pasolumifantrine artemisinin and quinine then sporonticides are gametocidal drugs they prevent uh, transmission that is artemisinin proguanil pyrimethamine and primaquine next a short note on chloroquine it's a very important drug many times it has been asked it's a erythrocytic schizonticide it concentrates in the uh, pa malarial parasite uh, food vacuoles and prevents heme metabolism thereby causing toxicity and cell death of the parasite it's used for treatment of chloroquine sensitive uh, plasmodium falciparum malaria and erythrocytic forms of plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ovale the adverse effects include a ga upset pruritus visual disturbances and ecg changes question number 39 is uh, anti malarial drug quinine it's a four amino quinolin it is where uh, the mechanism of action is similar to chloroquine it binds to plasmodial dna uh, concentrates in the parasite food vacuoles and prevents heme metabolism it's used for treatment of chloroquine resistant malaria the adverse effects include abdominal cramps diarrhea vomiting and it may cause synchronism that is tinnitus and blur division it has numerous uh, drug interactions uh, with uh, cimetidine or uh, it increases the toxicity of quinine with uh, warfarin it increases the toxicity of warfarin when it is co-administered with rifampicin it uh, reduces the efficacy of quinine with nmj blockers it increases the toxicity of nmj blockers and quinine when it is co-administered with anti-cancer drugs it increases the hematological toxicity risk question number 40 a short note on uh, primaquine it's a eight amino quinoline converted to membrane oxidizing uh, quinoline quinone intermediates it is used for uh, eradication of exo erythrocytic that is the liver forms of plasmodium vivax and plasmodium ovale and it is also a alternative drug uh, for pneumocystitis infections in combination with clindamycin for falciparum there is no liver stage the adverse effects include hemolytic anemia in persons with uh, glucose 6 phosphate uh, dehydrogenase deficiency it has to be screened first the drug interactions it increases the hematological toxicity of anti cancer drugs question number 41 uh, it is a short note on uh, pyrimethamine it's anti folate drug inhibits uh, dihydrofolate reductase it interferes with the dna and rna synthesis it's used for treatment and prophylaxis of plasmodium falciparum as well as in treatment of toxoplasma gondii in combination with uh, sulfadiazin it causes bone marrow depression question number 42 is uh, artemether and uh, lumifantrin uh, it's a erythrocytic uh, schizonticide uh, artemether is converted to active uh, metabolite that methylates heme and uh, proteins present in the rbcs uh, that's be that's becomes uh, toxic to the malarial parasite the therapeutic uses include treatment of chloroquine resistant plasmodium falciparum malaria adverse effects include a headache dizziness anorexia and muscle weakness artemether when it is combined with lumifantrin and the cyp 3a4 inhibitors it increases the toxicity of artemether and lumifantrin classification of antihelminthics question number 43 there are about six classifications drugs inhibiting polymerization of buta tubulin in the worms albendazole mebendazole diabendazole and triclobendazole then uh, drugs causing spastic uh, paralysis in the worms nn agonist it's pyrantal pamoate levamisole drugs causing flaccid paralysis it is gaba a agonist piperazine ivermectin then drugs altering microfilarial membrane and increasing phagocytosis diethyl carbamazine drugs causing uncoupling of uh, oxidative phosphorylation Uh, biothionol and niclosamide and drugs causing influx of uh, calcium praziquantel question number 44 is a short note on albendazole it's a benzimidazole drug it binds to beta tubulin and inhibits polymerization of tubulin dimers it is used for treatment of intestinal nematode infections that is hook form pinworm whipworm and ascariasis 
intestinal and muscle nematode infections, trichnosis, and intestinal protozoan infection, microsporidiosis, and cystoid infections, cysticercosis, and uh, echinococcosis. The adverse effects include uh, gastrointestinal uh, discomfort, constipation, or diarrhea. Then a short note on ivermectin, question number 45. It's a broad spectrum anti-alimentic drug. It activates uh, glutamate gated ion channels and causes paralysis of worms. It's used for treatment of strongyloidiasis, cutaneous larva migrants, onchocerciasis, and filariasis, that is Ucheria bancrofti, Brugia malai, and Lolo. Uh, recently, it, is, it was uh, tried for COVID-19. It inhibits the protein importing and prevents utilization of cellular machinery by the virus, but was uh, discontinued due to lack of efficacy. The adverse effects include mazoti reaction, that is fever, rash, hypotension, arthralgias, and vertigo. Question number 46 is prasequantel. This is an agent for trematode and cystoid infections. It increases calcium permeability of schistosome uh, tegument. Uh, and exposing the antigens uh, of the worms to the host immunity. It's used for treatment of schistosomiasis, Chinese liver flu, lung flu, and cystoid, that is uh, tapeworm infections. The adverse effects include uh, mild drowsiness, dizziness, and anorexia. Question number 47 is praziquantel, a short note. It's a NN agonist in worms. It activates a parasitic nicotinic receptors and causes worm paralysis. Used for treatment of hookworm, roundworm, and pinworm infestations. Adverse effects are GI upset. Then uh, a short note on diethyl carbamazine. Uh, question number 48. It's an agent for filariasis infestation. It inhibits arachidonic acid metabolism and increases phagocytosis of the microbe. It's used for treatment of lymphatic filariasis due to Wichiria bancrofti or Brugia or subcutaneous filariasis due to low low or oncocerca valvulus adverse effects mazoti reaction fever rash hypotension arthralgias and vertigo question number 49 classification of anti amoebic drugs there are three types of anti amoebic drugs one is luminal amoebicides which act on the intestine only diloxanate furovate paramomycin iodoquinol venadoclar and tetracyclines tissue amoebicides which act away from the liver that is away from the GAT that is uh, in the liver extra intestinal that is chloroquine drugs which act at both the luminal and tissue amoebicides they are nitroimidazoles metronidazole tenidazole secnidazole emitin and dehydroemitin question number 50 it is a anti amoebic drug short note metronidazole it's a nitroimidazole drug it is reduced to pyruvate pyridoxine oxidoreductase uh, which uh, attacks the DNA and proteins used for treatment of amoebiasis, giardiasis, trichomoniasis, uh, infections caused by Ballantinium uh, coli, Clostridium difficile, and anaerobic bacteria. Uh, it is also available as a topical cream or gel for rosacea infections. Adverse effects include gastrointestinal pain, metallic taste. Uh, metronidazole, when it is co administered with alcohol, it causes disulfiram like reactions. Question number 51 is uh, drugs used in treatment of urinary tract infection. You just remember five categories nitrofurantoin. It is active against uh, gram positive and gram negative organisms. It damages the bacterial DNA. Actually, acidification of urine with ascorbic acid increases the efficacy of nitrofurantoin. The adverse effects of nitrofurantoin include GI disturbances. Rarely, it may cause hepatitis and uh, hemolytic anemia in glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficient patients. Phosphomycin, it is active against gram positive and gram negative organisms. Methanamine, it is a salt of mandelic acid, and methanamine releases formaldehyde in the acidic urine. Acidic pH has to be maintained with ascorbic acid or mandelic acid or hippuric acid. At higher doses, GI disturbances can occur. It can cause drug interactions with sulfonamides. Phenazopyridine uh, is azo dye. It has analgesic actions on the urinary tract. It's not an antibacterial. It relieves the burning symptoms of dysuria and urgency in cystitis and uh, urinary tract infections. It colors the urine to orange red. Other drugs uh, include sulfonamides, cotrimoxazole, nalidixic acid, tetracycline, cephalosporins, and aminoglycosides, which are used in urinary tract infections.
Then question number 52 is uh, drugs used in treatment of sexually transmitted uh, diseases or infections, STDs. There are about uh, seven classifications. Drugs used for syphilis, penicillin, doxycycline, erythromycin. Drugs used for uncomplicated gonorrhea, that is uh, ciprofloxacin, ceftriaxone, levofloxacin, cotrimoxone, and spectinomycin. Drugs used for complicated gonorrhea, ofloxacin, clindamycin, and doxycycline. Drugs used for lymphogranuloma venerum, that is azithromycin, erythromycin, ceftriaxone, ciprofloxacin, and cotrimoxazole. Drugs used for granuloma inguinal, they are doxycycline, azithromycin, and cotrimoxazole. Drugs used for trichomoniasis treatment, metronidazole and secnidazole, and drugs used for genital herpes, acyclovir, famicyclovir, and val acyclovir. So it's a very short information of all the drugs which are specific in nature. Uh, I hope it will be useful for your exam preparation. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. Kindly go through all the series which is present in the 6th semester uh, Pharmacology 3 in the Pharma Topics channel. Thank you.